Welcome back, everyone. I'm Rock Abatko, MassInSports.com School of Rock with Orioles manager Buck Showalter on our second edition of Buck's blog. Buck, we made it through the month of April and the, the cold and rain. It's only the second, and there are more to come. Uh, when you look back, if you're able to reflect at all, because I know you're usually looking ahead, but looking back at April, anything that really stands out for you that maybe left you even more encouraged about this team? Uh, the, uh, how we played through the weather, one thing. I mean, it, I don't think people realize sometimes the challenge. I, I know last night's game uh, – uh, Tyler picked up a soaking wet ball and just had to throw it like a shot put and ended up with an error. It always amazes me how good major league players throw the baseball at being wet, which is you know happened seemed like every game almost except for Tampa uh, inside. And uh, it'd be like, could you imagine them playing the NBA playoffs with a wet basketball, or uh, the quarterbacks have to throw a wet football? They dry them off after every pitch. It's uh, it, it's really impressive, but uh, I, I think uh, uh, I think the consistency of, of competing, you know, our guys, uh, I think they're in a good frame of mind about, you know, there's such a fine line about understanding how long the season is, and but you can get into that, well, we'll do it tomorrow. Well, it's a long season. It didn't work out tonight, but they have a sense of urgency about winning that game, staying focused on that game, and then turning the page, good or bad, the next day, and that's important. Now the flip side, of course, the injuries. And I know every team deals with them, but but losing Hardy, losing Britton, losing Gallardo, three really important parts of this team. How big a concern is that? Well, I, you know, it's it's how you respond to it. You know, every team's going to have them. Sometimes you go through a year. Usually, the team that doesn't that has a really good year where that's concerned is uh, the last team standing. I know uh, Kansas City last year really had a real healthy year, but you know, when I look at JJ and I look at uh, Gallardo and I look at uh, Zach, they're all things that we're going to overcome, and it's just a matter of holding the fort down until till we get back at full strength. And, and, and therein lies is an opportunity for somebody, and I, that's the way our guys look at it, to, to really establish themselves as somebody that's dependable. And really, that's, that's really what we're looking for. We talk about in the spring, you know, we're looking for whether it's a coach, a, a manager, a player, a traveling secretary, whatever, they're just dependable people, and that's what allows you to be consistently good. And... Um, We'll get these people back, and, and Zach probably be earlier than, than later. But uh, I think we're going to like Gallardo when he comes back, uh, where he's going to be able to do physically. And uh, J.J., I think it's going to be sooner rather than later. And does this illustrate the importance of a versatile, kind of flexible roster because you can move people around? Yeah, and our guys know that. You know, they there's not a lot of ego involved with our guys. It's what does the team need, you know. And I ask their opinion on it in a perfect world where and uh, sometimes that perfect world doesn't present itself and through that you know we have to be able to adjust on the swing because nobody's going to feel sorry for you and even though it's good to have the versatile roster though there's certain players though that you would prefer not to move let's say a chris davis he's playing gold glove defense at first he can play third but then as you say robbing peter to play pay paul yeah you'd like to stay away from that and you'd like to you know i don't really like moving manny back and forth a lot you know because i think you have to have respect for the preparation these guys take for a game and if it's you know it's a big difference playing shortstop and third base a big difference playing first base and third base or the outfield and you try to let them focus on one uh, position if the game will allow you and if the injuries will allow you but sometimes it's uh, all men on board and our guys are good at that but over a long period of time it really becomes a challenge he's the Orioles manager Buck Showalter I'm Rock Abatko thanks for watching